Hi, Emily here from Fresh Paper Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to make this glittery text effect using PicMonkey, which is totally free. So let's get right to it. I'm over here at PicMonkey.com, which is a free photo editing website design software um, and you can do some basic design work in here we're going to click design or hover over it and just choose a canvas I'm just gonna go square you can choose a size that works for you for whatever your project is and the first step is to make sure that our canvas color is white. It should pop up white, um, but if for some reason it's not, or you're working on a project you've already started and you don't have a white canvas, the canvas needs to be white for this. So that's taken care of. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some text. So I'm on the font that I want. I'm in my own fonts. You can use the fonts on PicMonkey. You know, whatever's gonna work for your project, and I am just gonna write glitter. And I'm gonna make it bigger. Oops, I always do this, I forget to select it. Make it super big. And I don't really want it to take up two lines. There we go. All right, so now I have my text, and I want to make sure this is in black. If for some reason you have it in another color, you need to change it to black for this process to work. So we've got our black text, and now we're heading over to overlays, which is this little butterfly here. And I want to upload my own. You will need some sort of glitter image. A digital paper usually is the best way to go. You may be able to find something for free online. Make sure that it is royalty free and that you're not just stealing an image from the internet. Um, I purchased this Christmas glitter pack on Creative Market. And I think the whole pack was like $3. So, you know, invest a couple dollars if you're going to be using glitter a lot in your digital work. Uh, you can find, there's all sorts of colors out there and they're really affordable. So I want gold for my project. So I'm going to click this gold one and it will upload. And it comes up really small because my canvas is really big. But... I'm just going to resize this so that it covers all of my text. And then here is where the magic happens. I have my glitter on top of my text and I'm going over here. This is in the overlay panel that comes up when I add an overlay. And here in blend modes, I am going to select lighten. And now, voila, my text is glittery. I can also move my glitter around. You know, I can see this little sparkle here. If I want that sparkle to be in a certain place, I can move the glitter around. I can resize the glitter still. If I make it smaller than my text, though, it's going to leave, you know, black where the overlay isn't showing. So make sure it's a, at least as big as your text. This process also works, it works not just for text, but for shapes and whatnot as well. So I'll close this out. And if I wanted to add, you know, a little heart or something, again, I want to make this black. So color one is like a stroke color, which you could take off if you didn't want a stroke on there. A little outline. Why can't I get, there we go. <laughs> and color two is the fill color. And then I can just upload another 
swatch of glitter. If I wanted the whole thing to be gold, I could have done this heart at the same time, you know, before I added the original glitter. Let's add another color of glitter. Let's do red. And again, I'm just going to make sure it covers my heart. I'm going to make it big so it's sort of similar glitter piece size. And then I'm going to lighten. Nope, that goes over the whole glitter too. There we go. And there we go. See how simple that was? Now you can use glitter in all of your projects. This would also work with any other kind of photo if you wanna do that cool effect where it looks like your text has a photo in it instead of a color. Uh, this would work with anything. So go out, have fun. I can't wait to see what you create.